Hi Gemini, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're gonna do your reading here in a moment. Just a couple things before we start. Everything you need to know is in the description box. Uh, personal readings, details on personal readings, and details how to win a free personal reading. So with that, Gemini, let's just get started with your reading. We're gonna do what do you need to know right now? Please know this can resonate with any area of your life. This will be for your sun, your moon, and your rising signs. So if you have Gemini in your chart, this reading may resonate with you. So let's get started here. We're going to pull some energy here from the Good Tarot. What um, messages do you have here for Gemini? Please share with Gemini what they need to know. All right. We got the two of earth. We have the 10 of water. I love that card here, that happy Buddha there. We have the four of water. And bottom of the deck here, we have the six of water. Okay, six of cups energy. A lot of water here, okay? Three cards here is water. Uh, it shows me here, there's something here, definitely on an emotional level. Two of um, earth here. I'm just going to say some of you may be going through something where you are feeling emotional. Uh, others I feel here too. This is finding your balance here with this two of pentacles, weighing your options. There may be some sort of decision. We do have the ten of cups and the four of cups here. There is something being offered here with the four of cups. Now it can be um, that you have more than one offer here to choose from. There's one offer that stands out. I always tell people if you are dealing in a situation where you have more than one offer choice, okay, at least investigate the one that stands out here, okay? But it also can be your focus is on one thing here. And so your hesitation is not seeing all the other, right, in this card, all the other pearls that are around you. So there may be some choices and decisions you're having to make. Ten of Cups here, it's around your happiness. Some of you, it could be around a relationship. We do have uh, the Six of Cups. Okay, so this could be about thinking about the past, thinking about the memories here. Uh, definitely feels like there could be some sort of relationship or connection here where you're you're kind of reminiscing and you may be missing someone or thinking about the past here so let's uh pull some tarot let's see what else comes out for you gemini thank you spirit and angels for your guidance what messages do we have for gemini what does gemini need to know right now please share with gemini what they need to know right now okay we got the seven of pentacles we got capricorn taurus virgo energy all right we got the four of wands aries uh leo and sagittarius energy there yeah oh wow look at that here is that big cup there the Ace of Cups. You Look at this. You won't believe this, Gemini. You have the Ace of Cups and you have the Ten of Cups. Something's being offered here, okay? And as I said, there's some sort of decision weighing your options here. This can be something that you're focused on. It definitely feels like this is a love one or a love relationship here. So I feel like, Gemini, something's being offered with this Ace of Cups and this Ten of Cups. Now... You have the Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. I feel like you have invested in a situation with someone. Okay, now maybe you are feeling like things are imbalanced here with this person. Uh, I feel like, you know, there possibly could be more than one person here involved in the situation. But I feel like with this Ace of Cups, this can talk about a new, a new start in love or a new emotional situation here. And, you know, it, I feel like you're, you're trying to make some sort of decision. 
about your happiness here and the potential. Something you've invested a lot of time in uh, time with. So let's uh, pull some more cards here, Gemini. Talks about also stability. Some of you, this could be um, a financial decision as well. Maybe you've invested a lot here, um, but maybe feeling like things are a little imbalanced. Let's see what else comes out for you, Gemini. Please share with Gemini what they need to know. Okay, oh, the devil, Capricorn energy. Let's get another one with that devil. You may be feeling tied to something, is what I get with that. Okay, and the death rebirth card here. Interesting. And we also have here, oh my gosh, the magician and the ten of coins. Got Scorpio energy here as well. Okay, so Gemini, very interesting energy here. You know, you got a 10 here, you got a, you got the death rebirth card here and the devil. I feel like there could be a situation. Some of you may, you know, what I'm getting here, there may be something unhealthy. There may be something toxic. But what I got when this card came out is I felt like there was something that you were feel, feeling very tied to. You've invested a lot in whatever this is for you, okay? So it could be, you know, something, it could be money, money. it could be a relationship, whether it's a friend, family, or a loved one. We do have the death rebirth card. I feel like there's a decision here about ending something. Now, something may have ended already and you may be having a hard time letting go. That could be here, okay? But what's interesting here is you have the magician, you have the, the ten of coin, ten of pentacles energy, and you have the four of swords. So I feel like, Gemini, you're taking time to yourself. You're trying to figure out, I feel here, how to manifest, right? Your stability, your security here. We have um, two tens now, an ending here, a rebirth. Okay, it could be a rebirth or an ending. But let's keep going. We'll, we'll clarify what's needed as well if we need to. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. What other messages do you have here? For Gemini, please share with Gemini what they need to know. Okay, oh wow, look at that. The wheel. Wheel of fortune there. And oh my gosh, look at that. The sun card. And look what's on the bottom of the deck here, Gemini. Lovers, your energy. So you have the wheel and the sun card. Okay, seven of pentacles, the wheel, the four of pentacles, the sun card. There is some, I feel like Spirit is telling you that this this is going to go in your favor, okay? Could be a lucky time for you. Um, the Sun card's telling me there's a lot of potential happiness here. The Sun card here is, is with the Four of Wands. So I feel like um, Spirit is showing you, Gemini, you may have to make a decision. Four of water, I always tell people to really think about this and investigate this offer that stands out. Something here is standing out to you. They're telling you to investigate it. Okay, could bring you a lot of happiness and a lot of stability. It has to do with this decision. Let's see what's here as well. We have a king of wands and we have the lovers. Okay. Um, the lovers here too can be a decision of the heart, okay? And the king of wands here taking some sort of action. I feel, Gemini, you're going to have to make some sort of decision here. In some of you, it's around a relationship. Some of you, it's around something you've invested in that um, you looked towards that you saw is something that could be stable for the long term. But this is really coming down to your happiness is what I'm getting. What else can you share with Gemini? Please share with Gemini what they need to know. Okay, we got the hangman. Yeah, the devil here, okay? The devil here, right? You know that saying, the devil made me do it. I feel like the only thing that has been holding you back or has kept you in limbo could be negative thinking, holding on to something maybe that's not good for you. That's the devil energy. Look, it's on the bottom of the deck. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Ace of Coins and we have the Nine of Cups. 
I feel like, oh, and look what's on the bottom of the deck again, the Ace of Cups. I feel, Gemini, there is something that you're holding on to, but I feel like Spirit is saying there is something better. There is something better ahead for you. Look at that, Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. I talked about this Four of Cups. That's the Ace of Cups, that big pearl here. There's some sort of new offer or new beginning here, something that is new. There's something here you're holding on to. And I feel like that's what's keeping you in limbo because it feels like it's something that is maybe not good, not healthy. It can also be negative thinking, right? Or fearful thinking. What else can you share with Gemini? Okay. I just talked about fear. It could be fear of the unknown here with the moon card, Pisces energy. Look what we have on the bottom of the deck. We have the two of cups. Could be a soulmate here, okay? Somebody you're missing here, or somebody that you are still holding on to. Let's, um, let's do some clarifying. Let's clarify this two of earth. Tell me more about this two of earth. Please tell me more about this two of earth. Because I feel like there's something new here. Something new that's being offered to you. This definitely feels like a relationship, Gemini. Please tell me more about this two of earth. Okay, so we have the eight of wands. We have the hierophant. Okay, yeah. I feel like some of you, okay, look at that. Eight of cups and the five of cups. Something happened, Gemini, I feel um, it could be a relationship that you are in or some relationship that um, I feel either you, you see the potential, right? You see that there is potential for things to move forward towards a committed relationship or I feel like this is someone you could possibly have a relationship with. Okay, two of pentacles. There's a decision here. And I feel it's a decision of not feeling satisfied, feeling disappointed, and possibly walking away and exploring other options. I'm going to say here too, higher fence, Taurus energy. But this could also be you making a decision to change the energy. Your higher self may be guiding you to, to make some sort of change is what I'm seeing here. Let's clarify this four of water. Tell me more about this four of water. Okay, there you are. The lovers, five of wands. Yeah, I feel like you're struggling. I feel like you're struggling here with making a decision because I feel like the heart is involved here. And I feel like your higher self may be telling you that if you make this decision, that um, you may be a lot happier. And then look, you have the seven of cups. Oh my gosh, I can't make it up. And the four of cups. There's something new. It may be the idea of moving towards something new here, but I see a lot of confusion. And some of you, you may have a choice between two people. I mean, that's possible. Some of you, there may be a, a choice here between two people. So let's clarify. What do I want to clarify here? Let's clarify the wheel. Tell me more about the wheel of fortune. Tell me more about the wheel of fortune. Because the wheel brings new cycles, new beginnings. Okay, look at that. And here we have the... You know, actually, this card's popping out here. We have the Magician, the King of Swords, and we have the Ten of Pentacles, and we have the Queen of Pentacles, okay? So I feel like Spirit is showing you, Gemini, that you're manifesting something new that's bringing you a lot of stability here with the Ten of Pentacles. Now, this could be communication here from someone, a King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, you know, we also have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but I feel like um, you're being guided here, I feel, to make a decision, feeling like with the Seven of Pentacles, they're telling you to invest in things here that are going to bring you stability here. 
knowing your worth here, but I feel like you're holding back from making a decision is what I'm sensing here because we do have the sun, the sun card and we also have here the Four of Wands. Tell me more about this Four of Wands. Tell me more about this Four of Wands. There's a change here, Gemini, and this is also your energy, the King of Swords. So I feel like this is about you becoming quite clear what you want to manifest. If you're in an imbalanced energy and you're overthinking it and you're indecisive um, or you're letting fears get in the way, you're not really manifesting what you want, right? You're going to manifest what you think about. Let's clarify why the four of ones is here. Tell me more about the four of ones. Okay, look at that. The hangman and the four of pentacles. And we have here the Queen of Swords. Again, your energy here. Yeah, again, uh, it's an energy here, I feel, of limbo. Okay, holding on to something here. Seven of Wands, Queen of Swords. Now, for some of you, this I feel here this could be about you standing up for you here with the Seven of Wands. Okay, protecting yourself. Let's clarify the devil. Tell me more about this devil. Tell me more about this devil. Okay, five of cups. Yeah, disappointment. Four of swords. Some of you may be continually thinking about something happened that you were very disappointed. Now, the moon here is talks about the unknown. Okay, what's hidden. Let's see what the, the death rebirth because... This could be an ending, right, that brings about a new beginning, a transformation here. Tell me more about the Death Rebirth card. Five of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, stand still. Really what I'm really getting here, Gemini, is that you're holding on to something here, trying to make a decision. Your higher self is telling you that you, a decision needs to be made so that you can change the energy because spirit's showing you that you're manifesting, right? If you choose to invest and make a, de a decision here, things are going to go in your favor and there's a beautiful new beginning. A lot of happiness, prosperity here. But I feel like you're holding on to something because you feel like it's more secure. Let's, um, let's clarify the moon card. Please tell me more about this moon card. Okay. What's unknown here is Gemini, they're telling you the situation is going to get better, but they're telling you, you need to, I feel like you need to move on from something. That's what they're saying here. Because right now the energy is at a standstill. Okay. It's at a standstill. Look at, I'm trying to pick up the deck and look what cards showed up. Justice, Libra energy. So I feel like this is a situation you may be feeling like it's unfair to you. Look at that. You have two of cups and you have uh, the ten of wands and you have the queen of cups. There's a um, emotional burden here is what I'm getting there. Let's see what else. Please share with Gemini what they need to know. Please show Gemini more about what they need to know here. Okay, judgment, a decision. Yeah, I feel like you, uh, you need to make a decision here. The star card, is this, yeah, I gotta cover it. The star. Two major arcana cards here. Page of cups. And five of swords, okay. Some of you may be dealing with someone who's immature, I'm just going to say. Could be emotionally immature, somebody who's selfish or out for themselves. Yeah, look at that. You're on the bottom of the deck here, lovers. Okay. There's definitely healing here, finding your balance, making a decision. Feels like uh, somebody here from the past, Gemini. What else can you share with Gemini? If Gemini makes a decision to move forward. Please share with Gemini what they need to know. Ten of Swords. Hands tied behind the back here. Hierophant. Taurus Energy. 
It's the ending of a relationship here. Seven of Swords. Okay. Someone I feel here is trying to hold you back, Gemini. That's what I'm getting here. Someone's trying to hold you back. There you are. Yep, as I say it, someone's trying to hold you back from moving on. Okay. But I'm telling you here, look at that. It, this is showing me here there's something better. It keeps coming up, Gemini. There is something better to be offered for you. The energy here is showing me that once you make the decision to move forward, to let go of the past or whatever you're holding on to out of fear, I feel um, I feel like Spirit's saying there's a beautiful Ace of Cups here. And look, oh my gosh, look at that. The Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. And look, the Knight of Cups, especially if this is a relationship, there's a new romantic opportunity coming in for you, Gemini, is what they're showing me here. And so I feel like, you know, for a lot of you, I feel like this is a relationship that may have ended or you're thinking about ending. And they're telling you that this person here is trying to hold you back to, you know, they're trying to hold you back from your abundance because look at this, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. There's a more secure future ahead, Six of Swords, okay? This is about you moving. I talked about the emotion here. This is about you being um, emotionally... I feel here you're more uh what how do I want to call this emotion emotional intelligence okay moving forward taking what you've learned with you the eight of wands okay that's where you're going to see the change and the movement um I feel in your life here some of you it may be in your love life here but wow so, Gemini, I am going to pull a final message here oh, from Postcard from Spirit. Please share with Gemini what they need to know. Okay. Dearest Gemini, we know everything in the universe is perfect, even in its flaws, and we view the creations of Spirit in total awe. Total awe. All is unique, yet part of a unity of existence, but the human experience is a little different from ours. You tend to have a specific standard for what you consider ideal, and this isn't serving you right now. So forget your ideas of perfection and see through our eyes, allowing things to be as they are without judgment. Don't wait until a perfect moment or mood to start something. Instead, enter life with all its flossomeness. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. Let others be who they are too, imperfect and human, complex or simple. It doesn't matter for there is always something to discover, experience and love. When you drop the need for an ideal, you uncover the real treasure, which will be far more interesting and valuable. Loving you like crazy. Wow. So on point for your reading here, Gemini. I hope this reading helped you. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel of 